friends, Cheryl here with Inked Pulp, and I am back with another January journal, January junk journal, and this page will catch me up, so I'm excited. So let's see, what are we going to do today? So today, we're going to do neutral. That is right up my alley. I love neutrals. So before I get started, I want to say welcome. If you are new to my channel, I'm so happy you're here. I hope you'll like what you see and decide to subscribe and come back again. And if you're one of my returning viewers, you know that I so appreciate your support and I'm so happy you're here. Please leave me a comment. And regardless of whether you're new or returning, please give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. It really helps the channel a bit. So with all that said, Let's get started. All right, we did this one last time. The stitching. I really like how that turned out. All right, let's turn the page and work on neutral stay. And I have a whole bunch of neutral stuff here. And I'm going to start by putting down a little bit of a background piece. We're going to leave that white open up there, but... Here, just a hair so I know how far over to go. Um, but I want to have a little bit of a background on this one. And then we can cut off the excess once I get it down. I've been leaving the pages white, which actually has been kind of fun. Like I said, this is my year of experimenting, and that's an experiment for me, leaving those pages white. But it's been very positive. I mean, it's been fun, and let's see if I can, because hmm. this is curved a little bit. Oh, I know what we can do. Let's just see if we can lay it down flat like that. There we go. I haven't inked up the bottom yet, but I can always come back and do that once the page is there we go, once the page is done. Now, I need to not glue this all the way down here yet, because I have got some little neutral pieces that I want to put in here. This one, I did ink it, but it sure doesn't look like it. Let me ink again. Let me ink again and make that a little darker. I want to have these peeking out the top of that little tear. So we'll have that like that, and then I've got this one, and these are all in just different neutral colors. There are so many different colors for neutrals. And we'll put that in at an angle like that. Alright, so let me get these. glued together. Oops. Wrong thing. So let me glue this little cluster together. And then I'll go add more glue to the whole thing and we'll glue it down and then I can put down that background piece. All right, here we go. Just about like that is what I had in mind. Just like that. It's looking 
piece of paper towel here to rub that down so I can get off any extra glue that might have been there. Alright, so there's my neutral pages. Um, there was a video that uh, Marguerite Miller put out um, today or yesterday? Yesterday or today. And it was really good. It was about making a collage using neutrals and how, um, you know, if you stick to all neutrals for like your background and your little accent pieces like this, then when you, she called it a hero piece, I call it a focal, um, but then when you put down your, um, focal, it's really going to pop because everything else around it is so plain, you know, that it's really going to pop. All right, I have this piece, which is another neutral. This was from another um, page spread that I did where I cut off the little paper doily and I had this piece left over, so we said, well, let's hang on to it. And this, based on what she said, would be considered a neutral as well. We'll put that down there at the bottom, and then... For the um, hero piece, or the focal, putting stuff down before I want it down because I would like for this little stem to go right underneath um, or let's see I have two of them let's see if this one's nope I like this one but I gotta cut off this little leaf and this little leaf. We can put these on back on again in a different way, but I need to take them off for putting down the um, sticker. And I hate all the extra stuff that comes around these stickers, so I'm going to Kelly um, from Root Pursuit, if you happen to be watching this, these are several pieces from the kit that you sent me. I love all the pieces. And I, it's always fun to get stuff from other people, isn't it? I mean, you have your own scraps and your own ephemera, but there's nothing like getting stuff from other people and seeing the different stuff that they have. So I'll work with it for a while and then it'll just go in the general ephemera pile once I've satisfied my need for working with all this wonderful stuff. I don't know that I'll ever satisfy it, but I can, um, you know, get to a point where I'm ready to put it away and not have it be front and center for everything that I'm making. All right, a little bit more cutting. And we're going to put that right there. this back down and there we've got a pretty neutral piece I was thinking 
what I might do to help out the neutral look would be maybe a little lace at the bottom. And it can hang out the bottom. I'm good with that. So let's put a little bit of this lace at the bottom of that green doily. This is another neutral. But it adds another layer of something something. was just using this lace in my art before breakfast this morning so it was laying on my desk and look at that I was gonna put a word on it but I don't think it needs it I really don't I think if it's just inked around the edges And I think that will be um, enough. I don't think we need anything more on this piece. And oh, look at that. We're through the first signature in my little four signature journal. Oh, I was going to look at maybe putting these little leaves on. What I was thinking is maybe putting them on so they hang over the. Um, that little green doily paper. Make it look a little more three-dimensional. So yeah, if you have to cut off parts of your stickers, don't throw them away. I have one more of those around here somewhere. If I find it, I'll put it on. But that's going to be my neutral spread. Oh, come on now. The sticker wants to be picky. Boy, I've got glue all over my hands. This is the second video I've done back to back. And <laughs> my fingers are covered with glue. All right, let's... Put that right on there like that. And like I said, if I find the other one... I don't know where it went. If I find the other one, I'll stick it on there as well. All right, folks, there is neutral. This little corner here is wanting to pop up, so let's put a little glue under it. And there we go. The neutrals page. Even the flowers are a bit neutral because they don't really, you know, pop out from the page. They kind of blend in. All right. There we go. We've got neutrals. Day number eight and the first signature done. We'll see you tomorrow um, for the next prompt. And let's mark off neutral. And then tomorrow's foliage. So we'll have to see what we can do for foliage. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you haven't given me a thumbs up yet, please do so. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.